Alrighty, bolt buster set up with my custom made one that you bend yourself. And this ball joint will not come out. This is only two uh, loops around, so I don't know how hot it's actually going to get. But all this dirty grease will take a little longer to warm up, probably. Oh, well, that didn't help. <laughs> Shitty battery in this thing. Oh, well. I may have to break out the air gun. I was trying to do this on the car, and it would not go. So. Oh. I got to swap this battery out. All right. And the vice is a little different. Maybe I should clean it off because maybe somebody welded this ball joint in, but I think it's original. Well, I know it's pretty loose. Ain't this crazy? This is so much better than getting heat on this and having it go on fire. Although I gather there would be a point where this would go on fire. Oof. shocked at this oh. oh well it might be in there for 60 years let me see I probably gotta use some muscles <laughs> get the breaker bar oh well of course my phone is so shitty I gotta actually plug in the cord anyway I got this thing really hot and now it looks like it's starting to move I put the air gun on it as well I actually tried it with the breaker bar and the whole table almost collapsed over. <laughs> Definitely coming out. Lots of grease going into the thread, so... But this is one of those, like, really good Chrysler, um... Uh, what do you call it? Control arms. It's very heavy duty, and I don't think these will strip like like the more modern cars in the 70s. They made them out of really cheap st uh, stamped steel. Even the process of getting this out was much better. Uh, and I'll go through it when I do the other side. I wasn't writing a video because the battery was dead on the phone. I knew it was going to cause me a problem. But um, I'll be more prepared uh, tomorrow when I do the other side. But I also want to get the the top top out because I had just as much trouble. I was beating the hell out of this with, with both guns. It would not come out. So heat is the answer. And you can see how bad the bushing is. Offset. Both sides. That's a little bit better, but rubber's all gone. I feel like I have a landline now that I got this fucking cord hooked up. Anyway. Pretty impressive. Now my air is full. A little more pressure.
that these, these threads are so much more high quality in these years. I gather up to 64, uh, 66 even, just with the Imperial I'm talking about. Yeah. Now it's coming off easy. That's crazy how nice it came out, the threads. Yeah, that one was all loose. The, the, the other one is actually kind of tight. Maybe somebody did it, but it seems so tight. It seems unlikely. Now, I've gotten these things out before, and I see there's a little piece of metal there. You know, sometimes it comes out, but then it strips going back in, and there's nothing you can do about it. Then you just tack weld it, you know, and really hope I don't have to do that. We shall see. I don't want to put the new ball drain in because I got to do this as well. Uh, let me show you. This is a little different back in these years uh, compared to the Mopars of the 60, late 60s and 70s. I actually have a cotta pin in there. I'm like, how the hell do they get the cotta pin in and out? I'll get it out. I'm going to unscrew it, but it looks like that's just bolted in. But that's also pushing a shot. It's, it's not so much unstable, but it doesn't flex, you know, it just gets rock hard, you know. You know, it's crazy how, you know, you, you say, oh yeah, the bushing is shot, but a lot of times it's actually still kind of there, but you never get the alignment right. You know, there's, there's a whole bunch of things going on. Now that I'm just looking at this, look at this. There's actually a thin piece of metal here. I don't know if that's part of the uh, ball joint or not. Hmm. That's funny. Unless the, the actual socket was ripping away this metal here with the banging. And this is actually part that the, the threads are fine. Then again, it seems up on this side as well. So, this is probably going to be a shit show. But we shall see. A lot of times you tighten it up, everything's fine. But it is kind of like worn unevenly, so it might just be that it, the, the socket, I didn't even realize that the socket was beating it up, you know, whereas the inside looks like it's pretty flush for the most part. And then because this outside got worn because of the impact socket, that's crazy. How fucking hot is this? Let's... Interesting. You got to hold it away. Unless I'm going to put a, some paper towels in there or something. You know. Like I said, it's actually the nature of it. It's not the greatest design. It's a horrible design, actually. It'd be much better to be pressed in. I'm wondering if I bought the press in one. If yeah, it doesn't seem like it's like a separate piece of metal that they kind of put in there. To make it, you know, um, thread it in. Come on, stay up there. <sighs> yeah, this is hard to say. All right, well, let's. Well, I'll see if it's a shit show or not. All right, I'm gonna get to these bushings. I'll probably make better videos. Of the of the other bushings I don't know maybe I'll make more when I do this but for, basically you, you know I'm just taking out that cot up here I'm gonna unbolt it and then I'm gonna show you what I do for the lower bushing the top bushings I mean if you know how to work on cars and you're attempting this on a Chrysler I would think you know how to do that they just pop out and pop in for the most part got to be careful to an extent but the big problem is getting out these ball joints and um, the lower bushing that's gonna be a lot of fun um, all right thanks for watching Alrighty, so I stayed a little bit longer to get out these bushings, the upper ones, you know, they have these things in it. This looks like a typical Dodge. This top one looks like from a Dodge Dart even. It doesn't even look like a C-body. Ball joints are fucking huge. They look correct, okay? That's how they are. One is a bigger shaft than the other. Uh, one is a bigger thread than the other, although the aftermarket one, this thread is a, a hair down, but, you know, it's one notch down, but it's like that on a lot of ball joints where the socket that you use is not the same socket that you took it off with, 
You know, it's just like one step up, and this looks like it's one step down. You know, this is one step down, and that's one step down from the original. But other than that, the taper is right on the money. And actually, this is pretty cool. That's why I got it, because it comes with this this thing that you you whack on that um, the steel, because that's always a pain in the neck. Now, the lower bushing, this thing has a washer that's inside here. And I just thought, I, I'm like, eh, is that really right? You know, so what I initially did... I kept playing around with it, and what I did is I melted out the, um, the center. I pulled it out, and then I let it dry a little bit. When it, when it congealed, I was able to yank this guy out. So I realized, because it's just, you know, this is how they did it, and this is why they changed it later on, and they made it cheaper. Um, this washer actually fits perfectly on this end. So at first, I grabbed something to go in the hold and go over it, and all I did was bend the fucking washer. So I had to, after I got it all out, I had to smash it flat. But I put a wider um, thing with the, with, the, with the thing. You know, once you put something wider, then it, uh, actually that wasn't even the one. I used this guy. Just able to fit it into the hole, you know. So once you get as close as you can to the edge with it and you smack it, it actually comes out relatively easy. So that was actually kind of cool how they had designed it like that instead of like having to put it in the press and everything. And it, hey, but here's the problem is the listings are bad because number one, idler arm, pitman arm, not right. I found the center link online because that's the thing that's really bad along with the bushing for the, um, for the uh, idler arm. This is a typical Dodge lower control arm bushing. Whoop. That's how much smaller it is. And unless the one that they list for centric is 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 the uh, the right one, which it actually supposedly crosses over to um uh what do you call it? It crosses over to the same one, seven ninety one. Then uh, I have a problem. I gotta I gotta start looking at specialty places, but I'm almost positive this is like Dodge. The ones that I got, they were thirty three dollars for a pair, and it's not even close. I mean, not even close. Not even close to being close. They're way too big. Everything I bought for this car is is basically wrong except for the ball joints. Um, I'm kind of upset. Even the AC part, the uh, receiver dryer I bought, I found one on my own. It was one number off. And at least it has the two male thing. The one that they gave me that's listed for the car has uh, O-ring connections, you know. Now, even the one I bought is not as long as this, but it's just about, I think it's just about past this point right here. You know, so it's it's pretty long. Um, I'm going by what it said online. I think it said it was like 11 inches. So, oh, hell yeah. This is, this is, this is the one I... The one I got, I don't know if they're measuring it from the mounting point or what. I forgot where I was measuring it from, but ultimately, the one that they gave me, uh, not even close. It barely catches this in here. So the one I bought, it has the two, the male, you know, and fittings, flare fittings, whatever you want to call them. And um, I had to search a thousand part numbers, you know. Just to find it, but it looks like that's going to be good because it's important to change these things. It's 60, 60 years old. How the hell can it do its job? You know, and you get moisture in the system, and that makes basically like an acid. Oh, so this is really a bummer because I have it apart and I can't put it back together. So I will be taking it apart the other side. Uh, but I gotta now. I gotta definitely find it. Um, the good news is the guy called me for the uh, brakes. They sent the brakes. The, um, the spindle. I had gotten an extra set of spindles uh, and an extra set of hub bearings, and I drilled it off the um, drilled the drum off. Get all the lugs out. He only needed one because they're basically the same left and right, just with a different arm in the back. And then I sent him pictures of the arm because the only arm I had was that you know was on the car, and I didn't take it apart yet. And I actually wasn't going to take this apart. But he, he just told me today that he actually sent it to the, the cutters. He made a design, and they're sending it to a cutter, and then I guess they're going to test it in real time. 
by bolting it on and whatnot. And then um, I'm going to see what happens. Uh, how well it works, you know, what what what, uh, what setup he wants for this 62 Chrysler, which should fit 59 to 66 or 57 to 66, something like that. But I am bummed about the parts for this car. It's not a C-body. It's, it's a C-body on drugs. And I've said that jokingly to the owner even, and I, I, uh, I really wasn't kidding. And now I'm getting firsthand, you know, confirmation with more systems in the car. You know, that's a real bummer. And I took out the spark plugs and doing that. Nah, it's a different rotor because when you do the Petronics, you got to use a different rotor and because it fits better in here. But this car had a, had a carburetor problem and then they advanced the timing. It's all burnt on the edge there because the timing was off for so long. I got it to run good, but it, these plugs, the platinum plugs should, really shouldn't go in a classic car with, you know, even though it's electronic ignition, it's it was, to me, it's electronic points. So in the end... It, it, it's really the same weak spark. It's just in time better and more consistent. Um, and um, what do you call it? So I bought a cap and rotor kit. And of course, it's a thinner rotor, the stock rotor. It doesn't fit in this Huya thing where this one does. So I ordered it from AutoZone because they actually list it. They said if it's been, if it's um, had electronic uh, conversion, this is the rotor you use then. It says made in USA, and I think that's the picture I saw the new one. I'm gonna put a different um, thing so she has a uh, uh, windshield washer uh, fluid coming at her. <coughs> Excuse me. I had the, uh, the wires really weren't that bad as you heard in my earlier videos for this car. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah. That's not good. They, were, they, they made it sloppy. These things are cheap. I got to go to the store and I got to buy another set of these things. You know, there's some of the original ones there, like the, the gold in the valve cover. It's snap in there, you know. And that's all well and good. But... If you don't have everything going for you, it's not going to be right. Now, this is a um, strut rod bushing, um, which I believe that is probably not much different. It does not look different. Okay? Definitely, you know, needs to be changed. So, I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to hold on to the... Uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Ball joints. And, uh, what else? I'm gonna get out of here. Um, I got a big fan up there. Um, so, I'm upset to say the least. I gotta return a lot of stuff. And it's like, I gotta get the money back. And it's just like, you know, it's not always easy to... You're dealing with a certain amount of money, and then you got to lay out more. I did the water pump. Easy peasy. So, yeah, I'm just trying to tackle a few of the uh, odds and ends. I did make the uh, the hoses. Instead, it, this thing here was to be straight on one end, okay? And uh, it's going to be slightly outwards because it was right up against the air cleaner, and it was a pain in the neck. So that's going to be like that, and this guy is going to go, you know, up to there. All right, this guy here, that was also straight, and being that we put a dual master a while ago, and it's actually no good, I'm going to change it again, I made it, and I made it loop up and over. So there's plenty of room, because even if I went straight across, it, it was hitting the, uh, the thing, it, you know, you want to be able to service these things. So, I mean, pretty much, and then I put some rubber underneath here. This is really, this is something that somebody made. It's it's fine, you know, but I just threw some rubber on the neat there because it really and this thing here was around the edge as long as I got it up against that edge there, it, it'll be fine. I took out this guy as you as you know already. So unless I start going crazy and changing all these things here, it's uh, then I can play with the angles here. But it's uh, it's this is you know somebody they they fix this is something I can't do, you know. It kind of just looks like they pressed it on, you know, but uh, 
All right, I think my phone's about to die, so let me uh, yeah, see so did that. But I'll I'll keep you updated of all the stuff that's uh, going on. Unfortunately, it's a disaster today, but all right. Thanks for watching.